Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Living with a JCW. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, cost. So these cars, you can get some pretty good deals on them. I know when I got mine, I ended up getting quite a good deal of contribution um, and some money off as well, which made it quite affordable uh, for the level of performance that it gives you. So overall, it's actually quite a cheap car considering the level of, level of performance it, uh, it offers. Yeah, one of the things I really do like about the car is uh, actually how good it is on fuel. You can really push on this thing and still get returns of sort of mid to high 20s, sometimes even in the 30s, which is just completely ridiculous. You can completely wring its neck and still get 30 mpg out of it. Uh, the fuel tank's not huge, so it means the Phillips aren't stupidly expensive. I think for a full tank with today's prices, it's roughly 50 or 55 pounds. And you know, you'll probably get 200 250 miles off a tank, which I don't think is too bad. I mean, I drive it reasonably hard as well, um, so yeah, that's not too bad. It also falls in relatively low insurance group. Uh, the insurance for me was a lot cheaper than I was expecting. Um, I think I, I looked at insurance on the likes of BMW M140s and M135s, and this was literally half the price and more. So it was, you know, in terms of insurance, definitely good. Road tax is just literally the base, uh, £140 per year fee, currently anyway. Um, it was £200 for the first year and then £140 per year after. So yeah, it's really not a ridiculously expensive car to run. I haven't had the first service yet. That's due in September of this year, um, or thereabouts. So that'll be a real test of sort of how much it costs to service it but I mean as of now I haven't had to change anything I've done about seven eight thousand miles I uh, haven't had to change brake pads which you wouldn't expect anyway with that kind of mileage um, but I don't think I have looked into pricing they're not ridiculous uh, to replace either So to give you an idea of how much this car actually cost me per month, um, I think it's somewhere in the region of five to 600 pounds. It just depends on the amount of miles I do in the month. Um, fuel prices as well, that makes a big difference. Obviously, in recent times, it's been a lot more expensive. It's starting to come down a little bit now. Um, but yeah, I'd say it's you know maybe 550 pounds a month, something like that. And that includes everything. Insurance, the car, the tax apportioned on a monthly basis. Um, the insurance, that's everything. Um, so which, you know, there's probably not many cars with this level of performance that you could run for that kind of cost. Uh, so it is quite impressive. And I'd definitely say it's a selling point, to be honest. Okay guys, so that's it for the costs of running one of these um, F56 Mini JCWs. Just a bit of a short video there, but hopefully it gives you a bit of an idea of how much these actually do cost to run. Um, as I say, it's a fairly cheap car, especially for the performance, um, and definitely a potential selling point for some people. Um, so yeah, that's it for this episode, and we'll join you in the next one. Thanks for watching, see you later.